Good evening and afternoon or morning, it depends on when you're watching this, but hello and welcome to another episode or stream on World of Warships Legends with, of course, me, Ash, or Spartan7. And we're continuing on the campaign that we're doing right now. A uh, campaign where I'm not getting the ship, and I'm just going to play along anyway for, well, the rewards, essentially. Not that there is many, but we have the mid autumn Festival here, as we're on week number two of the campaign, which is the Road to Mutsu, as you can see here. If you read to celebrate the mid autumn Festival with lots of Asian-themed content, including the Pan-Asian Tier 6 Destroyer, the Finyang. Plus, take advantage of a special mission with many rewards with... The Tier 5 Japanese battleship Mutsu among them. So, you have the ability to earn Mutsu, I hope. Maybe. We don't know. We'll see. This week here on World of Warships Legends. So, if you haven't earned Mutsu before, this is your chance to pick up a pretty solid Tier 5 Japanese battleship. But I wouldn't really recommend it if you don't know how to properly play a battleship. But Mutsu does have the ability to teach people to close their frickin' broadsides. It's the one thing I've noticed so many people do, and they don't close the broadside of their ships, and they all pay the price. So, let's have a look here first, of course, what's gonna be our missions for this week. After we get through all the endurance stuff, we get into the shakedowns, where if we take Route A, we have to get 500 hits with our secondaries, detect 15 ships, and of course, place in the top three four times. But if you don't want to go over to secondary hits and you want to go into AI or do something different, you have to get 10 defend, capture, or assist, capture ribbons. Ouch. I think it's secondary is going to be the better one for me. Instead of getting your 15 detections, you could get 100 incapacitation, destroyer, set fire, or floods. Jesus, it's going to be another one of those weeks. And of course, placing the top four, however, 15 times because you're doing it inside of AI. Or you could do it in standard as well if you want to, but your better option is just to try and hunt down the top three instead of the top four for single uh, multiplayer matches. Moving on to the trials, we don't have anything special here, though. That's a little disappointing. We're not going to have anything new within the Bureau, no, because obviously it's a brand new update, so nothing like that's going to happen. Uh, we still have the colors of the... F oh, actually, no, this is a new one, the colors of the fall, so we get to have ourselves when a flame camouflages six of the big fall crates. Autumn in Japan, which includes what exactly, Wargaming? War Five of the big fall crates, two accommodations, and 12 of the Imperial Japanese Navy camouflages. Finishing it up, of course, with the Fen Yang that you can see there on your screen. Now, we do have, of course, the Moonlit Journey which we can redeem for free, so I'm going to do that now. And that's obviously to get Mutsu, I would assume. So it's all going to be probably heavily Japanese-inspired this week for pretty much everything that we're going to be having to do within the game. Personal mission. We have nine rewards for completing all the tasks in this mission. Okay, we'll have a look at that in just a moment or two. And of course, with Fin Yang being here, Obviously, the other Imperial Japanese battle or destroyer has to be here. With, or I said Japanese, I apologize. It's not. It's Pan Asian. It's the Low Yang. I keep forgetting that. Totally different ship. Goes over standard camouflage, which is the beautiful dark blue, light blue with white. Or you can put her normal Courage skin that you get with this pack in on it as well, which gives it a very nice crisp red some gold touches and of course blue wave effects with some wings as well coming off of the gun mantlets very nice so far we don't see anything that's new here we have the all end double xl pack that is here as well for anyone who wants to get the tier 6 pan european destroyer you can go pick her up here she comes with her flag 30 european gap flashes and 30 of every tier free booster that you can get. That's quite good, actually. Not worth 16,500 gold for the boosters only, so we're just going to ignore that. Moving on to the balloons, we don't have anything new in here. Nope. Anything new inside the offers? Mm, we have our daily reward crate. Beautiful. The Abruzzi is this week's ship. Very interesting that they brought an Italian out for, well, essentially European stuff. Or like uh, Pan-Asian and Pan... 
European ships. Hmm. Anyway, let's move on to the specials. We have the European destroyers are still here for anyone who wants to go and buy these. They're still inside the store for you to collect. Personally, I'm not going to spend gold because it's not something I want to do. I don't want to have destroyers. I can play them. I don't mind them, but I'm not really spending gold on buying them. But we have the Mid Autumn Festival. That's here. Obviously, the colors of the fall will come with four unique bundles. We've already been through these. We get the Atago, a Japanese Tier 7 cruiser. Very good at setting fires. Very easy to kill, so keep that in mind. Its accuracy isn't the best, but you can improve that with a Commander Guis, so keep that in mind. We have four elements camouflages for the Zijong, Champon, and the Harbin. What do these look like, actually? Can I preview one of these fully on a ship? Because that looks kind of cool. I like that little dragon effect. Which makes me wonder why the hell we don't bloody get one. Yeah, so we have dragon scale for essentially the watermark. Uh, the bow's going to be... Or sorry, the, the keel is going to be the same. And we get a base white. Get a green dragon there. So more dragon scales up by the top. And what... Uh, is that like a red cherry wood? No, it's not even a cherry wood deck. Wow, what is that? Oh, it's just red with painted black squares for it, like a, the pathways are marked. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. Dragon scale emblem just casually there, too. Dragon on the front's kind of cool. I like that. It's a nice little touch. Anything special in the stern? Mm, nothing really special hidden here. Fair enough. Not a bad camouflage, but uh, I wouldn't spend 5,000 gold on it yet again, I'm afraid. What else do we have in here? We have the Yellow River for the Tier 5... Is this Japanese cruiser? The Honya... Uh, no, it's Pan-Asian. God damn, I gotta get used to these ships again. She's in the store as well with her beautiful flag and her unique camouflage, which makes her bright bucking red. But you do get a gorgeous dragon camel yet again down the side of the ship. What else is in here? The Lo Yang is there. We have the festival outfits, which is the Shimakaze's permanent camouflage. And the Yamoto's permanent camouflage for fire dragon and air dragon. Uh, no, I'm not spending 5,000 gold for that. I can legitly do that without even having to touch gold. So sorry, Wargaming, that's not going to fly with me. Get a fresh supply, Autumn in Japan, Air Dragon Camouflages, and the Fire Dragon Camouflage as well. Nothing to collect this week really for free out of that. That's kind of disappointing, but I guess we got everything on the first week. Is there a lane still here? Anything new in the ships? Atlantico is here again for a limited offer, apparently. I wouldn't really call it a limited offer. Nothing new in the commanders, nothing new in containers. Fort is going to stay the same. It wouldn't even matter anyway. I don't have any more steel to supply what I'm after. Uh, what was that? 3,800 gold for 50,000 free XP. No. I'm not spending a campaign's worth. Actually, more than a campaign ship's worth for that. So, sorry. Moving back to the missions, because now we have a new one. Moonlit Journey, you win free matches in Japanese or Pan-Asian ships. I knew that would be a thing. Do that in Jap free times in any of the modes, you'll get yourself the 12 Imperial Japanese camouflages. Goes 5,000 damage by fire. In Japanese or Pan-European or Pan-Asian ships, you get the symbol and two of the big fall crates. 350,000 damage to ships in the same countries. Get you a symbol and accommodation. And if you kill 11 ships while using Japanese and Pan-Asian, you'll get yourself a insignia and a moon rabbit flag. Doing all of them, of course, will increase it the chances of earning the Mutsu right at the end. 
you'll not be able to skip any of these, but I'm so curious. I did message Prince Blip because I was concerned. I already own Mutsu. So what would happen if I got it again? And unfortunately, Prince Blip didn't really message me because, as you can see, Mutsu's sitting here with 1.1 million XP on her. And I got Mutsu B last year. So I already own this ship. I already own her flag. I believe I own the Mutsu's flag. I could be wrong. Now I have to just go through my flag collection here just to double check I don't own Mutsu's. So bear with me here as we just quickly go through these folks, I'm sorry. But I want to know, did I get Mutsu's legit flag? So I got your highs, I got the Massachusetts, I got the Oleg's. For your service, potatoes, and Patty's Day. Australian on the part with the potato. Standard potato, of course. Just kind of showing how many of these I went through. Five years of service kind of gets you that. There's Rasputin's flag for having her. Yeah, there's the Moon Festival flag, which is what we get. So that's one of the flags I already own. Um, Peace Day, three years. There's the South Carolina's flag. Steel Day, there's the Giuseppe, the Tulsa. I'm trying to figure out our when they're in fire. There's a Wami's flag. Palmer's Carnot. Hmm. Marco Polo, the Marlboro. I might not actually have it. There's Brisbane. Heisen, Anchorage. There's the latest Moon Festival flag for this year. Said 44s, the Megadeth, Blue Archive. Hmm. The Velos flag. That's there. It's good enough for me to know. The Rio de Janeiro, because we bought her. Carl Johan. Enterprise. Hmm. Okay, so I don't own its actual flag, but that still makes a difference. What happens when I do this? Because obviously we're going to dip into AI. We're going to get as much of this done as we can, as quickly as we can. Because um, obviously we have to get AI to get all this done. Well, we, we need AI to get the win, so we'll do the win and then we'll jump into standard to get these done. So at least we'll... Uh, We'll have one victory, hopefully, within a Japanese ship's name. We're just going to keep our premiums active today. It's going to be a premium day, I think, for me. I don't see any difference in why I should be changing um, out of my premium ships. Oh, I suppose if I get caught one. God. I will admit the Facebook community dealer a few days ago kind of chewed through me because I went into a match and I was in one of my standard line ships I was grinding it out to get up to its next one and it was legitly on a full team of nine me and two others were standard the rest of the team were premium and I legitly put that up on Facebook saying you know it's the worst I've seen it for a premium team I've never had six other ships completely premium and I was sad, you know, I hope it doesn't go like World of Tanks, because if anyone's ever played that game, you know, a lot of the matches, a good majority of well over half the tanks that's used is premium. And there's nothing wrong with using them. I just don't want the game to get overrun with premium ships. I know every update and you one or maybe two comes into the game. But I just don't want it to... I just don't want it to kill the fun for people that's trying to grind up uh, a certain tech tree line. You know, and they're getting outmatched and outgunned by essentially a fully upgraded ship that has probably a commander in it or 
some type of special ability. The fastest in her fleet. No one questioned it. Until and then if you added the command skill to it as well, well then And might have been misguided. My 
mighty waters are invading our vessel. What the hell do I have in my ship? He is a. Oh, I love this. We're contested. Yep. All right. Someone's. Hi there. Fuso, why have you turned? Wouldn't be so bad. Oh, I just got lucky. Oh crap, please get that heal patch in. I'm dead. Oh. Ah shit, they're rears. Say what? Stick your five minutes up your ass. <laughs> and people say that AI matches don't give you a bit of a challenge. Kind of do when your teammates just let you die. But it is what it is. We get it done. We get out of AI. And we get to go to standard and earn our XP for bonuses. Yeah, just give us our commander, which is Bay and 35,000 of our silver lions. Fair enough. Well, let's keep it going. Keep the show on the road for Japan.
it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, it probably will be difficult. I am getting lag spikes. I don't know where from. Hopefully it won't affect me too badly. It probably will. It will end up getting me killed, no doubt. Hope not. Hopefully maybe I can get some wins for the team today. Um, obviously I'm going to be doing the Mutsu thing on my own. You probably won't be seeing that fully finished via stream. But I shall game clip it. Of course, and then I'll upload it to YouTube later. And holy fucking tatly amount of destroyers. What the f uh, damn. Okay, well I guess this is a very limited match because holy crap. Better ship than me, though. What I don't like is the fact that, yeah, we have the same amount of destroyers. However, they get the benefit of owning another battleship. We have a fucking cruiser. And it's not even that much of a good cruiser. It might have battleship guns, but unfortunately, it's got battleship reload. And it's a cruiser, so it's not going to be able to withstand much pain. What is their battleships anyway? Because it's all two Hyugas. Yeah, jammy bastards. I love them ships. I wish I had one. Normandy, Tennessee. Okay, so we Tennessee is weaker than California, so we do have a bit of an advantage there. Time that that guy stops, my shells will land. And I missed! What? Are we gonna lose a destroyer already? No, he's he's killed himself. Yeah. Well played, my guys. Well played. Hell of an issue to have right now, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking Normandy's hiding too. Yeah, you might be a destroyer. It might not be worth my time shooting you, but if it gets my destroyers the ability to get you weaker than them, I'm taking the chance. I don't care what it's gonna cost. That land? Indeed, it will. Seriously, there's free destroyers here? Torpedoes confront us dead ahead. Mm, no, you don't. Maybe the Fabuki did, though. Can't lie, that's always going to be at the niggling at the back of my head. As the Fabuki did the torpedo on me. Keep an AP loaded. I refuse to change to HE right now. Because if I ever get the chance to shoot at that Normandy in Tennessee, I don't want to have freaking HG loaded into goddamn guns. I want to be able to actually kill the sons of bitches. Why is this Mahan getting closer? Why is no one dealing with him?
Sorry, little guy. You're gonna sail straight into my guns. I'm gonna have no other choice but to shoot at you. Hey, you've got HE loaded. That's fine. It's the AP from the other guy I'm more worried about. He's not gonna take... Hang on. So even though I'm broadside, you're still gonna keep your HE loaded? We have overcome. Dedication or you made a slight mistake on your behalf? Rid of him. One of them left the zone. I know they're never reached, but I'm always hopeful that maybe. Oh, nice! He got the Vibugi. The There's the one that's been a pain in my ass. Oh, please tell me he gets one of them torpedoes. He does not. Oh, he got one. Never mind. Good man. Uh, you please don't think that I am. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to dodge. You're dedicating to that fucking HE roll, aren't you? Oh, that's where he is. Right, fine. I could speed up then and turn to the right. Don't turn left, Graf! Oh, well, well. No skin off my back, but you're a fucking idiot. You're a radar cruiser that can go hunt him down, and you're not gonna hunt him down. This guy's really taking the pain. 
he is milking the head. I can see them. They're quite beautiful. Five minutes to the end. I'm fucking sorry. What the hell just happened? Okay, now, now you actually show up to do your job. How is this happening, by the way? How have you not killed him, or you killed him? Someone has to die. I will actually give credits here, they're not even trying to ram each other. Normally someone would commit full suicide to get the end of the game. There we go. Jesus, California. You took quite a while there, didn't you, to get that done? Not gonna lie, though. I thought we were gonna lose. I'm kind of shocked that we, uh... We pulled that win. Don't know how we did it. But somehow we did it. Let's keep going with the moot so see if we can get victory number three. And the reason we're using this is because there's no booster for the XP, so we can get the XP before bonus is done a hell of a lot faster. That is a cute, a keen tip, actually, by the way. If you go into AI with a ship to get your win, and the next challenge, or the challenge in the future, is going to be XP before bonuses, take the ship that you got that win in. Because there's no times 2 XP bonus on it. So it's not going to count. It's actually going to give you the rewards that you got from that match. On that ship. Now note, I only did maybe 2,000 or something XPs. No, I didn't even do 2,000 because I only got one boost. Maybe 1,700 or something is what we got in that last match. We'll figure out. But it wasn't really that impressive. Now this is more of the matchmaking I'm used to. Which means this is a six. Fours. Okay. I guess let us see what happens. German ship straight out the gate. Gonna aim a little bit high, because he'll no doubt keep turning. I need to turn back left again. Mm-hmm. Hi, hi, Yoga. Hello, enemy carrier. will be a constant him well though oh I forgot he 
See, the Hayuga can't hurt me. Not properly. Carrier's gonna get a good shot on me here, and there's nothing I can do to avoid this either. That's how you get shot. That's my first one, Mackinson. Can we aim our second one in, say now? Take the cruiser. You're not gonna take the. Oh, you did take the cruiser. Fucking beauty. Thank you. Not because it gives me time to shoot at you, but because it gives me time to actually recover from the f**k-up that I just did. moaning Japanese girl was about, but we'll ignore that. Can we get a set of down? No, we don't. 6k is as good as we do. He's unable to retaliate. Perfect. Now, Bayern, you shot at me before. I need to get my payback on you. There's also a fucking destroyer right next to me, isn't there? There's also be a destroyer that I can't see. My guy's trying. Oh, it's a Turkish destroyer. That's what. Do you know be the first time I get to see one of these in action? So, let's see how well he does. Ah, he's against the Japanese. A fair contest, then. Oh, damn! Nice. This Turkish one's doing pretty well against the Japanese. Go on, my son. He'll torpedo your ass eventually, you know this, but you're accepting that fate. Oh, fucking well played. Absolutely well played. I'm screwed. I have to open up my fucking citadel. That Hayuga knows it. And he slams me for it. But we don't even get him back. Alright, fair enough, the other bringer did. Fuck off, Ayoba. Will ya? Okay, this commander's more annoying than the last one. Oh, you dirty, rotten son of a bitch. You ain't sinking me. In fairness, the Baron will be the one that sinks me. Never mind, the Baron's out. Thank you, aircraft carrier. This is a typical Aoba player. Oh, I saw that torpedo move. I'm not stupid. Gonna die by the carrier, though. Yeah. Never mind. Carrier does not get me. What the hell is going on right now? First I was afraid I was shitting myself. 
How the fuck am I alive in this awful place? Why can't I kill you, Ivory Eagle? This is actually kind of concerning me. Oh, nah, nah, game. Nah. Eh -eh. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell that it disappears. He's still alive? Okay, that, that, that needs to get put out right now. Oh yeah, now look who shows up again to try and get a fire on me. You're gonna need that island, you son of a bitch. Oh my god, I'm gonna need fucking will to rebuild. Holy f fuck nuggets, how am I alive? I need to thank this guy if he's on Xbox, because I am not gonna lie. Right now, he's the reason I'm alive. Fuck you! <laughs> Protect me, Cone! <laughs> this is the closest I've ever been to death in so long! Oh yeah. Yeah. 100%. Plane falling backwards, he's gonna come at me again. You might be Japanese, but you're gonna fucking die for the Emperor with this. Yes, get citadeled. Holy crap. I should have died. If it wasn't for the Turkish destroyer sticking with me, realizing he was in my will to rebuild. Where is that man? Please tell me. He's oh, he's not on Xbox. No. Damn it, I wanted to thank that guy. I'm I'm just gonna have to screenshot it and, and thank him on Facebook because I'm sorry, he saved my life. He is the reason why we survived. That man brought me back from a thousand HP more than once. Oh kudos to you, sir. I, I, I would tip my hat if I was wearing one right now. You absolute legend. Fucking well played, thank you. Whew. That is insane how much he helped me. God, we're not even done with that yet. We're done with this, though. We need to do 5,000 damage of fire. <sighs> Mutsu's not really the best for fire, so what can we take? You know, let's. 
Let's take this down. Let's go for Japanese only. What have we got here? Okay, let's take away the battleships. What do we have here that we can use? We have Sezoya. I think Sezoya might be our strongest competitor for this. What do we have that's not premium? I know it's just stupid to ask, but I'm, I'm so curious. What do we have that's not premium? Got a Moyogo. Mugami, sorry, Moyoko. We have Raiju. We have Fuso. We got Aobo. We got Congo. Congo's actually pretty decent at it. It makes no fucking sense why it's decent at it. Yeah, let's, let's go for Congo. It's 5,000 damage with fire. It is quite a lot to ask for, but if we can focus a battleship, and if he keeps it on long enough, if he's nice enough to let us get the fire on board to do the 5k roll then f good but if he isn't good enough and he puts it out instantly then we'll have to fire north salvo on him but there's gonna be a lot of japanese ships and i can guarantee you we're gonna get through into a five because ever since i owned congo she has never went into a tier three match she has always been a tier 4 or higher. Mm hmm Just keeping that word. She's not going any lower. It's good to see things. <laughs> it really is good to see that some things don't change with this ship. So let's see how this goes. We just need 5,000 damage for fire, and we need 300 XP before bonuses. We should be done with that. Thank you for attack on Hawkins. I'm oh, not going to be bothering going into the A point. I kind of would say I don't blame them, but at the same time, that really puts it down to me and the QE here to try and do it. And our destroyer's not moving, so that makes it more awkward for us to see stuff, meaning I'm going to have to throw up my plane to get a better visual. As soon as I see something I don't like, like, if I meet a California, which I know the enemy don't have, thankfully, is that the Mutsu? That's the Mutsu. I kind of wanted that on my side. I know it's stupid asking for my own country ship to be here, but Japanese ships do burn a lot better than anything else. I wonder if he gets spotted again. Would I be able to uh, possibly throw some HE his way? I'm spotted now. Great, that means the fucking duties over here. No! What? We get server disconnected. Oh, get fucked. Oh, come on. I know that the servers ain't running right, because they, they did say tomorrow they're going to be doing updates with the server. It's going to be laggy as, and glitching uh, for at least two hours tomorrow. So I thought, right, I'll get on today and, you know, I'll suffer through the little... Who's my ability to do anything? Which means we're probably gonna load back in. Guaranteed to be on fire. Guaranteed to have lost over half our HP because we're sitting still near the A point. We are primary target. QE might have crashed into us. It's not my fault. I lost. I'm streaming perfectly fine. Has the ship's servers just crashed? Is this the end of the stream? Because I can't get back on? I hope not. I'd like to continue on, at least do more than two frickin' sta- I haven't even done two stages of the challenges yet. I've only done one. Please don't do this to me. Let me continue. Please. Damn it.
Come on, game. You can do it. Oh, there is hope. I know I'm going to be dead. Straight up. No getting around it. I'm going to be dead. I hear no bells. No whistles. No fire. I'm sunk already, aren't I? Still no bells. Let the battle begin. How the f fuck am I alive? Oh, that moves is a hell of a lot closer than I want him to be. Oh, I'm citadeled. Yep. Are you gonna let that fire stay on you? No. Okay, you're gonna be one of them, Mutsus. Fine, 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 fine. If I can another salvo onto you of fire, I should be able to get you again. QE. Don't start with your fire. You might be the Azura Lane version, but don't be a bitch. Come on, Mutsu, I'm trying to do a challenge here. We have overcome the challenge. I'm going to get hit again. He knows I'm after the fucking challenge, and he's just making this so much more difficult for me than what I want it to be. Yeah, that's why he's sailing away. He knows what I'm after. Hey, I'll even turn. I'll give you the broadside shot that you want. Will you come back? Will you fight me? See, I even got a fire on him, and he instantly put it out. Again. That's why you're fucking sailing away. Dude, I just want 5k damage on you for fire. And I've put one individual fire on you at a time, and you're just being that much of... a desperado, should I say. That you refuse to give me that one extra fire again. Like, there, you've crashed. If I... Hmm. I think it's safe to say I did the fire challenge. Enemy destroyer has been revealed. Yeah, 
I'm switching back to AP now. I've had my fun. And someone else just put a fire on him, too. That's good. Are you gonna crash again? Oh man, it is not your day. He's probably thinking, oh yeah, now the Congo knows how to fire AP, but I'm sorry, buddy, I was after a challenge. Not the reason for your death. A destroyer is. That's even more hilarious to me. Says that there's a cruiser sitting out here. But I don't see him. Or has the game... I think when the game crashed, it glitched him on my map to be permanently there, because I should be seeing him right now. Which means he definitely has ran away. He's up north. Yeah, he's gotta be. What is it, anyway, that's meant to be there? An Emil. Oh, that thing has to... Yeah, he can fly. That thing's fast for a French cruiser. Really quick. Is my gate going to survive? Yeah, he put his fire out. Good man. Good. Turn. Makes it easier for me to hit you. Thank you. Aww, the rear's missed. Where the hell is this cruiser? Well, it won't matter. Yeah, we win. Wait, how do we win? We were 977 when the QE sank. Unless the Emil was already dead? Question mark? Was he already dead? Shit, yeah, he was. So the Emil that the game said was alive for me was actually fully dead. The more you know. Alright, so let me just take a look at the service record that we just did there, because I'm curious how much we actually did with the Mutsu by herself in that last match. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Yeah, we don't get to see it. Of course, the game has crashed. Lus has reset everything. Lus making my pain so much more. 1,500 global, then 600,000 credits, and we actually get into the stuff that we need to get into. How are we doing for assignments? Did we actually do that? Oh, of course we did. Ha ha! 350k damage. Do you know what? I'm taking it out again. Ah, uh, no, that's credit. We need global boost. Ooh, we're running low on them. Oh. Nice. As I was trying to say there is we're running low on these, so we need them. God, we don't need any more of these, but fuck, we have so many. That's nearly 500 of those we have. That's a little insane. But I'm taking Dyson out again because I don't know if I took her out uh, in a stream before, but she did really bad. I took her out again off stream, and I'm not joking. This thing showed what it could do. It was deflecting shots, fighting a... It was even fighting a Yamoto. 
and surviving and doing pretty damn well. We actually pushed um, a side of the map, but we were on, what was it, two brothers. So we had the right-hand side where the C point would be. That was not getting much attention. My Yamoto was sitting back. My DD couldn't push up because it was spotted by their DD. So I'm focusing... Uh, Thunder after you're all sort of at the top. Oh, I, I don't really care about Thunder. Um, but yeah. So when my destroyer was fighting their destroyer, I took it upon myself to put my secondaries and my main battery onto the destroyer to focus it to get it out of the way. Because if mine survived, it was a Shimikaze versus their destroyer, which was a Daring. Obvious choice would be get the destroyer safe. He can then help me later on with the Yamoto. And, yeah, we did. We managed to kill the Destroyer. Yamoto was, I'd say, maybe only a quarter of his HP was took out from our Yamoto. So it fell to me and the Shimakaze trying to do our very best with the weird angles that we were both at to try and kill the Yamoto. Successfully did that, and then we happily pushed down, meeting the resistance of battle. No, it was a Lucian. Okay. Hmm. Fighter has ascended into the skies. So there's an Azumo, a Delaware, and fuck knows what else over here. Hello, Delaware. What are you firing today? AP. Okay. Yeah, I can't really absorb the second one, not gonna lie. So, you played well there. This is stupid, I know, but... If he citadels me to death, fair enough, he citadels me to death. I can't really do much when I'm the only fucking battleship here because Frenchy here is hiding like a coward. Yeah, I'm gonna die again due to the stupidity of my team. Oh shit! Okay, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. No. Nope. There's no keep turning in it at all. Fuck, do I hate you type of players? Why is it when everyone gets a French battleship at high tier, they think, I know, sitting still at the back of the map, that's how we're gonna win this fight. You're so fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Good game. We have one, two, three. No, I need to say as in game chat. I'm sorry, but you're saying good game. We have four battleships that are camping at the back of the fucking map. You just can't say good game when you're sitting there letting your cruisers and destroyers do the work for you. Learn to use your armor, angle your ships, and focus fire on different things that you can hit. Instead of fucking sitting back and sniping. Because as you can see, that's not really worked out now, has it? Morons. Mm. So this is went well. But at the end of the day, I didn't sit at the back. I did try and get up with the team. I knew I was going to get Citadel, so I don't really care about that. But I'm not going to fucking stay there and watch a team that would rather sit and camp at the back of the map thinking, yes, yes, this is how we do this. No, no, it's not. Um, I need global XP, so... Heisen? Could I take you? Question mark? 
Oh, you're running one of my credit boosters. I'm going to need that soon. I can't let you have that, I'm afraid. Sorry. But no. Not letting that slide. I have to... I have to call out battleships to do that, you know? Front portion of the team that tries to push in and get a hold visual when we all die. Magically, the four camping assholes at the back. Oh, good game. Shut the fuck up. Some of us don't like hiding. If we want to play snipers and sit in the back and do golf for the team, except for get a couple of kills maybe here and there, we'll go to Call of Duty. It's as simple as that. Or we'll be a camp and troll on some other game. Ships isn't really one of them games that you can casually sit back and do nothing. The game has only begun! Chill! Holy shit! Oh, that's not fair. That's in a legend match, and then he's in a legend match. He might actually do okay, though, but this Sejong is not gonna do well here. Is he teamed up with someone to be here? No, so he's on it. Oh man, that sucks. That is not the type of match you want to pull. Tier eights and sevens. Ideally, sevens is what he wants. He's not even gonna get that. Damn, poor guy. I guess you're gonna be like every fucking hell you don't sit at the back. Yep. You got an HE flinger, so I'm just not even gonna bother with this side then. have actually shot at him there and kept it going. Yeah, look at that. Lost half my HP. We've instantly lost the destroyer, too. Oh, shit, they hit the Shimakaze. Nice. Nah. Fuck that. Even the Shimakaze, like, something is radaring us. That's what's radaring us. The fucking cruiser in the middle. The crushed aunt. You cheeky little shit. That's why my Shimakaze couldn't hide. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, don't you worry. I'm not letting him slip. Fucking Yamoto. Look at that. Camping at the back. I fucking hate that type of play style. Oh, because they see one YouTuber, one video of, oh, we managed to survive by sitting at the back and doing well. Being an aggressive Japanese battleship can be the biggest fucking surprise the enemy team will ever receive. What is actually shooting at him? Anyway, what is this? Oh, Worcester. Okay. Boom. Surprise.
What's the chances he'll torpedo me? I'm gonna go with quite high. Wow. See, look, there's what I'm on about. The emoto that originally shot at me. He's pushing up, he's being aggressive. That's the type of style that works. Really hoping, Holland, that he comes back out, but he won't come back out. Hi. Thanks for the free citadel. You're having to use your radar to spot a ship that's going to obviously come around the corner. Question is though, what type of crash down player are you? Are you the one that's going to pop right out any second now and surprise me of your torpedoes? Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. You're not seriously gonna go for the... Are you serious right now? Holy crap, you suck! You couldn't even do your torpedoes! You just went straight for the ram kill. So where he could have easily got round my right hand side, because both my guns are locked to the left. He knew I fired my main gun, I wasn't going to be reloaded in time, he could have easily came round, torpedoed me, got the kill, got the damage, and then done more to someone else. But he didn't. He went for the full, I have no fucking talent, and... Did that. Okay. Well, that's gonna get clipped. What a pathetic play. Oh! And right on cue, the fucking servers crashed again. The fuck, game? I wonder if I can actually find that guy. I can remember his name roughly. Do, 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 do. Oh, apparently not. Apparently I'll never be able to find him again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no again. That's that's not how that works. I know fine rightly that he was in my last match. He was definitely an Xbox player. But apparently, when I went to my recently played with, I can't find him. Now, I'm not going to hate mail. I'm just going to send him a message saying he had time to move around my left-hand side. or Well, my left to him, my right to me. And he could have torpedoed me to death. He could have secured me that way and possibly lived to do a little bit of extra damage. But he didn't. He took the... Well, pretty much the shitty way of securing a kill. I, I'm curious though, because... He saw the witch's service there. He saw me sail by. I'm wondering. Let the battle begin. Did he not expect me to come down here? Oh, look at that. Now our Yamoto is deciding to sail down at the... Speed of a snail. Yeah, it's not even full send. Now I understand why. 
Fair enough. So what is this guy's name? Let me find him. So he's tag teamed up with the Vilios. Hmm. View profile. He has Mr. Miyagi as his fucking... I'm not even shitting you. His profile photo is Mr. Miyagi. Well, let's just send him a, a little message. I love how my commander's apparently still speaking to me, even though he's uh, currently underwater. Hmm. Five minutes to the end of this epic combat. Uh, it's not really epic. Let's let's just definitely confirm that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Them Yamoto guns. Well, there's the message away to him. And I know not everyone's going to be able to uh, see that message, so the message I had sent the guy was, I'm lost on why you ram killed. All my guns were locked left and my front guns were reloading. Why did you not run up my right side and torp kill? You would have survived to do more damage. I mean, his team's gonna win. Either way. Okay, I don't know why you take a Brisbane to go after Yamoto. Yeah, that's five on two. This match is over. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, that guy has me so confused. Like, yeah, now that the whole pathetic fucking play is out of the way, I'm just so lost. On why you would choose a ram kill. Because the crush dot carries enough torpedoes that are strong enough to hurt me. And he would have definitely got floods. He would have killed me with his torpedoes. But yet for some reason he chose a different way. I mean true not every player thinks the way I think and that's fair but. God man you have me so lost. Oh yeah, my fall crates. I forgot about these. Let's see, open these up to get... Uh, I'm going to go with nothing. Followed by... Ooh, nothing. And a possibility with a slight touch of nothing. Let's open them one at a time, actually. Instead of doing it... No, let's do it all at once, actually. Because I know I'm going to get nothing out of them. Ha! Called it. To be fair, it would have been kind of greedy if I did want to get something out of it. Wait. Did my Dyson team get the win? Even though I fell so early? Please don't tell me they did. There's no way. I didn't think so. Oh, it was a combination of the Dyson and the Heisen coming back together. Right. So how many did they actually manage to kill after I fell? 
Hmm, shocker, the Delaware that was on my side. Pretty sure the Itachi was... No, the Itachi was in the middle. The Izumo, also my side. All died. No, I died at the beginning of the game, and yet I am so close to three other players who probably survived longer than me. Ah, <sighs> it just goes to show. It don't matter what you do. If you sit back and camp and let your teammates die in front of you, you're gonna lose. Kind of like what the uh, Heisen team did. I mean, in fairness, there was nothing I could do to save both of them destroyers when the crush dot ran up the middle and used his hydro radar to completely screw them both over. So that was just extremely unfortunate that he went up there. None of our guys went down the middle. I suppose that's kind of why. This kind of sucks. But nothing can be done now. Let's just try and get through what we can get through. Hope for the best. Swing for defenses. That's kind of a bad choice of words. Swing for the fences. I've only done like 90k damage as well. Maybe 100k if I'm lucky. And I have to do 350. Dyson, I'm afraid you have a lot of work to do. I don't want you to have the work to do either. Because this is a legend fight, isn't it? Knew it. Oh, and there's a Montana. Uh, I hope he doesn't notice me. Because Montana got a buff recently, and she is a bit more painful now. I mean, I think she's actually on par with the freaking Louisiana, for crying out loud. Oh, you are going to ignore the A point. Alright. Fuck that then. Why should I send my battleship over to the A point when our destroyer's not even gonna go there and our cruiser can't really support himself? That's Louisiana's. Yeah, that's better. Thank you, game. I was gonna say, where is he? Oh, shit. Hi. It's alright. I love how I just worried about the Montana, and yet what's the one fucking ship I'm gonna poke? Oh, he's gonna definitely not want to shoot me now. Oh no, yeah, of yeah, I, I, ex I deserve this. I poked you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Citadel, me back. What? I'm sorry, 1400 damage? I should have rolled more than that, right? There are fucking destroyers in there, too.
Oh, the hell with it. Balls to the wall. Let's go. I fucking boosted out of there when I did. Hey. Was that? Hmm. Oh shit, I forgot about you. Shared the same weak spot as Iowa. Don't hurt me too bad. Okay. Fucking grosser cur first. You say you aim at Owami, you'll actually probably be the one that'll get me with more damage. So that's Gur first. I think I might have just fucked myself. You're going to keep up the pursuit of me. Dark clouds gather as the enemy team. Actually, in all fairness, Dyson, we ain't surviving this. Because that's why. Yeah. Nothing I can do. I just... Why, why are you camping? Oh, you're your Xbox. I can, you're not even Xbox. I can't even freaking message you saying camping's not the way to win. <sighs> but Dyson did bring home 105k. That's a lot better than the last time I took her out. That's for freaking sure. So we'll probably have to roll... Kinda don't want to run Heisen again. I like having the torpedo ability, so I'm gonna run the Awami instead. Good, she's already kitted up and ready to go. All fur coat, no underwear. So to say. Oh, I'm just getting so tired of all these teams. It's only the beginning of the week too. Not to keep going through this pain. Do for that, or I go into AI to try and beat the Mutsu challenge, at least to then be happy. 
But then what's the point of jumping into AI when I'm getting my actual weekly stuff done faster here? Because, I mean, may maybe that performance from Dyson will be enough to beat the global XP, which means Awami could be essentially be the one that's earning the silver right now. Oh, Jesus. Triple destroyers, huh? Okay. Let's go right to the edge of B point, so if any of their DDs decide to sneak in there. Should be able to welcome them with a little surprise, but highly doubtful I'll manage to surprise a destroyer. Especially when ours is sailing in at full fucking speed too. Is that a Phileas? No, it's a Loyang. Okay. It's all quiet on the eastern front, but I do nothing to Missouri? Enemy battleship has been revealed. I don't accept that I do nothing to the Missouri. I know what he's waiting on. Hold still, you little fucking German cockroach. He's gonna get our guy, too. Oh? Oh, nice. Heisen, I ain't gonna fucking lie. If you were any other ship right now, I'd be calling you out for that mess. Kinky. Wait, where's the battleship that spawned behind me? Oh, he took a hell of a hammer. Ah, finally we get a response back from our lovely cruiser that Ram killed us a couple of matches ago. Get to see if he does message back. I'm so fucking screwed.
yeah. I'm, I'm just screwed. Unfortunately, again, I get betrayed. Because this guy, this team, is running away from the Alpha Point. So I got cross range from them. Because I'm having to focus on a frickin' destroyer, I get absolutely obliterated by the Missouri because my other teammate, who unfortunately did take a hammering, has abandoned. What is with the battleship players this day? Why can't no one just stick to the fucking side they're on and push the damn flank? Or at least try their best to hold it? Why does- Oh, we've lost a destroyer. Quick! Run away. Fucking run away does not support the team on the side that you're going to abandon. And it screws over the team on the other side. Which is what just happened to me. So while Dyson just got an incredible game, well not incredible, it got a good game, I've just got a very shit game in the Iwami, thanks to my team being the way they were, and ran away and left me open to get crossfired. Fuck! What am I after? Am I f mm. Do you know what? No. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it the way I want to finish this today. I don't care. I'll take Dyson into AI. If I'm gonna get a decent fucking team, don't have Twerps on the crush that. I could have swore you did. Doesn't it? Hmm. I might actually have to look into that to see if... I mean, he probably is telling the truth, but even still... Why would you risk a ram kill? You could have went around and citadeled me. Everyone knows Japanese battleships are weak as hell on their sides. Well, unless you're matching with the Fuso a few matches, a lot of matches ago. And no, we're not that strong. But he apparently was. <laughs> I'm not even running the silver boost. Son of a bitch! Prepare to set sail and prepare for your rainness to be attacked by the Martians. But you know, the way the teams are going, actually, I. Hmm. There's a very strong chance that this might be the final match. It is an AI, true, but... The teams, just for some unknown reason right now, are not doing what they would pref Well, what they normally would do. Because normally they'd be all over attacking stuff, but not today, allegedly. Get a life, Rupert. Roop. What did I just say to your German ass? How did I miss you? Being the next big question. Now, you see, you shoot a Japanese ship, you get shot back by a Japanese ship, and he's dead before you get him. Ooh, never mind. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment ça va? 
off. Okay. Should have been more subconscious about this, but I'm sailing right under Roop's actual torpedo range. Draws near, it draws where? Because it's nowhere fucking near me. There's a chimney mouth and ask, did this man just go invisible? Fair enough, we'll stick with guns only. Torpedo tubes have ceased to exist. Good shot, Darebreast. You have probably torpedoed now, so if I slam on the brakes. Should go right by me. What? Where the fuck is your citadel? Mm, don't matter. I apparently found it in either way. The man had me confused. Not that it takes much, I ain't gonna lie, but still. The hell was the Citadel point on that thing? Unfortunately, Dyson didn't get the show its power there, only 89k. It's not really the best. But, at the end of the day, we're after trying to get this mission done, which we can get done, actually. Yeah, we'll do one more. We'll finish off this segment. And then we just have to kill 11 ships. Japanese. For the next 7, well, 6 days. Oh boy. How close are we with the... Is it heroic? Damn, okay. I didn't realize we did 4 of them. Um, where are we with this? Ah, so we actually are on running silver now. Do you know what ties in earning 100k without a silver boost? That's pretty impressive. I can't lie. That was good. We'll take it out for one last go. We need anything over 50k damage to be dumb with that segment. Then we'll probably just end up spending a little bit of time here and there inside of our legends to get the 100 steel in AI, and we'll try to see if we can get the kills done too. Probably won't. Getting kills in them is going to be a, a challenge. Especially when everyone gets up to that segment. There's going to be so many Japanese ships sailing around. That's just going to make it impossible to properly focus getting kills because there's going to be the players that will play the game normally, and if they get the kill, they get the kill. There's going to be ones that will play extremely sweat just to get the kills. And then you'll get to the bottom of the barrel, which is the ones that wait until you've done all the damage. And then they swipe the kill. I still didn't check if the crush that has torpedoes or not. Damn it. I just completely ignored what that guy said and just went, mm, yeah, sure, doesn't. We're gonna engine boost this shit. We're gonna get in there fast. We're gonna get our damage done early. Majority of this is cruisers that we're fighting, so we should be okay. Let's get in there early, get some damage in. 
pop off a couple of torpedoes, hopefully more than just a couple. Do we have any player actually joining me on this adventure? Yes, we have Oliver Twix in the Heisen. I love how I detect you first. Something bigger detects me. Or something easier, even. Oh, yeah, sure. Subs of voice. Well, you shoot me, I'll shoot you. You do just over 400. I do nothing! Hmm. Good start already. Now we seem to magically find the fucking sweet spot on you. I was gonna say I could have been a total fucking scumbag and went for that cruiser. And I wasn't intending to. But it just seemed to have happened. Heisen, I was kind of hoping you'd be here. I'm actually dead, aren't I, here? Ah, <laughs> oh, I couldn't roll high, but 177k. Not bad. That's a better... Wait, is that my... Oh, no, there he is. Right, I was going to say, is that my Heisen? Did he seriously go that way? But no, he, he didn't. He went that way. And the Emoto gets the kill. The I mean, we can still actually lose this match, worryingly enough. Our Emoto, unfortunately, has went the wrong way. Emoto, you need to keep going around, man, to get... Ah, the Emoto's coming out backwards to get a shot on this. But if he had kept going around... He would have been sitting in the sweet spot to blind the hell out of the girl first and then collect the Azumo. But he went this way and is that an HE? Oh, he must be going for the challenge. Fair enough. You don't have torpedoes, Heisen. What are you doing? And your rear guns ain't facing that way either. Uh, Heisen. Pop, pop. Yeah, he's after the HE challenge. Moving back to the Emoto, though. This 
ARP camo is just... It's quite nice on the Yamato. I like the gold tip guns. Hmm. Yamato full... Full port. Full port. Don't go to starboard, you're going into the Citadel of the Heisen. Or the Azumo. You are dedicating for this one kill, aren't you? There, you got it, but also... You just got yourself killed. So now it falls to Mr. Oliver Twix. Let's see what he can do. If not, it's going to fall to the Emoto that's out here. Who rocks my camo? See, I don't get why this camo, black and red, why did we not get gold tip guns with this? It would match. That ARF camo is blue and white, but yet magically gets gold tip guns. He's not going to come from behind you, Mr. Twix. He's going to come from in front of you. Where he was set to go, and you best hope he does not strike you. Yeah, these servers today are just not doing the very good. He's in the base. He's right there. And did it. Hold. Hard to starboard. Okay, you're gonna play this at the weird game, but he's just gonna follow you, so you're not gonna get that broadside too quickly. Now, hard to starboard. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. Aim at turret one, turret one, turret one, turret one's a weak spot. Come on. Yes, good man. He knows where to shoot her. Don't accept fate. You're not dead yet. He can't turn his guns. Set secondary booster. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, you lucky kid. Nice. Well done, Mr. Twix. Well done. Why am I complimenting a chocolate bar? I'll never understand. But hey, I'm an idiot, so... What does it matter? I would say hopefully two challenges done for the price of one, but... I don't think I did my campaign one. That's like 300k, yeah, 270. So we're not there yet. 500 secondary yet, so that's... That's fucking insanity. I might just try and do that. The detections is gonna be easier than hunter firing capacitations and stuff, so that's... more doable. I don't believe they're just giving away a free Japanese tier 5 like that. That's just so bizarre. Oh, fair enough, War Game, and it's your game. You run it any which way but loose. But as of today, folks, that is all you're going to see. I'm going to have to get myself sorted out, get dogs done, blah, 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 blah. The usual business. And we shall be back tomorrow uh, with Rotary, hopefully. And I'm hoping... That he doesn't get too flustered too quick, and that we can get where we're stuck in Gears of War Judgment out the way, so we can actually finish the game tomorrow. Because we legitly are there, we're one mission from getting to the final chapter, and me and him know the final chapter. We can do that with ease. There's no real difficult part in it, except for obviously beating the final boss. So I'm hoping that tomorrow we'll be able to get Gears of War Judgment out the way. Well, there's no guarantee with that, as usual. 
So, aside from that, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that we're going to be doing stream-wise this week? Uh, obviously, we're going to be back again on Thursday for Forza Horizon 5. We're going to keep it up for this update. See how it goes. If the next update is anything that's worth recording when it's back, back to the 90s, we'll, of course, do another month of Forza Horizon 5 as well, getting out the content each week. Uh, I shall return to Tank Mechanic Simulator. That will come back, don't worry. I haven't forgot about it. I'm just taking a little break from it. And I'm pretty sure me and Rotary can do another Trucking with Idiots on SnowRunner. That shouldn't be a problem for me and him to do. It's just obviously... You know, Mondays is filled with ships for me. Tuesdays is Gears of War, and then we like to take a nice break on the Wednesday. Thursday's now getting took up with Forza Horizon 5. Friday is the only real date that we have that we can do, because I refuse to stream on Saturday and Sunday, because I like to have the weekend where I'm not streaming at all. But, as of that, folks, that's all we have time to really discuss about today. So we will, of course, be back, as I said, tomorrow for Gears of War Judgment. Hopefully beating the last 360 game. And uh, if you're interested in that, maybe when you're watching it, or uh, rather on YouTube or on Twitch, there's going to be something said in that stream when it comes to the Gears of War series. So we'll be able to put up a little something something to see how that goes. Uh, we're not going to put the number too high because we know it's not going to really work. So, yeah, definitely pop in tomorrow for Judgment to see what happens then. Until then, folks, thank you all again for watching, ever live on Twitch or later on this week on YouTube. So we will see you all within the next one. Bye-bye.